In May, Collison hosted the live broadcast of BBC Radio 4's Any Questions, hosted by Jonathan Dimbleby. Watched by a packed hall, the guest panel comprised former Defence Secretary Dr Liam Fox MP, former Liberal Democrat leader Lord Ashdown, former Labour frontbencher Rachel Reeves MP and Baroness Jenny Jones of the Green Party. They faced questions on topics ranging from famous gaffes to the EU referendum. Mr Graham Boyce of the Flood Forecasting Centre visited Collison Grammar School this term to talk to students. Students from years 11 and 12 were given a detailed presentation on the models used by the FFC to predict flooding, linking this to a range of socio-economic and political issues. Mr Singh, a Sikh from Bristol, has been to the school to talk to Year 7s about Sikhism. He talked about the five Ks of Sikhism, which include the kirpan, a steel sword, and brought this in along with a turban to show to the students. In the build-up to the EU referendum, the school had two visiting speakers. Mr Ben Bradshaw, the Exeter MP for Labour and former Minister, visited the school to talk about why Britain should remain in the European Union. And Mr William Legg, 10th Earl of Dartmouth and UKIP MEP for South West of England, visited the school to talk to the students about the arguments for a British exit of the European Union. Neil Parrish, Conservative MP for Tiverton and Honiton, visited the school in May to argue the case for staying in the EU in a formal debate. Year 11 student, Eden, was Mr Parrish's opposition, arguing that Britain should leave the EU. The debate is part of a series of events being run by the school's politics ambassadors to promote discussion of the referendum among students. Over the Easter holidays, Collison students had an opportunity to go on a life-changing ski trip to Winter Park Resort, Colorado, in the Rocky Mountains. The Collison group flew out from Heathrow to Denver on a nine-hour flight, with a coach journey to the resort to follow. Perfect conditions for skiing pertained with wide slopes, powder and some enjoyable tree runs. The terrain park was especially enjoyable, as the group were able to try the mega halfpipe, which was very exciting. However, it was not just the skiing that everyone enjoyed, but a variety of other activities, including tubing racing, film nights and being able to eat out at different restaurants each night, with smoking Moe's being a clear favourite. The trip was a huge success with a wide range of activities being provided and many new experiences being tried, enabling the group to take away many fun memories. This term and this whole year at Collerton have been very exciting in terms of the science, technology, engineering and maths related activities that have taken place. Emily and Mia in Year 12, along with their team of Year 12 editors and contributors, have founded a brand new Collerton publication, CG Science. They began their venture at the beginning of the autumn term and since then have published a new edition every half term detailing some of the most recent interesting scientific breakthroughs and discoveries. Recently, Mrs. Porter has also started producing Inside Psychology, which is being edited by Ellen and Ellen in Year 11. It's going to be a regular publication detailing the latest news from the world of psychology, written by A-level psychology students. As well as enjoying, and indeed helping to run, the STEM-related clubs available to them this year, our students have achieved regional and national, and even international success in multiple STEM competitions, with the support and guidance of Miss Carter, the D&T staff and last year's F1 in Schools team, this year's team managed to repeat their success by reaching the national final. Jonathan, Michael, Richard, James, Isaac and Harry in Year 12 competed at Silverstone and came third out of 28 in the Reaction Racing category, as well as winning the Best Research and Development prize. Isaac also won the simulated racing competition that took place on the day. In this year's Exeter and East Devon Ogden Trust Love Physics video competition, Colleton students came first and second. Jasper and Charlie in year 12 won the competition with their Legomation of neutron stars, and Damon and Keir, who are also in year 12, produced a video on neutrinos that came second. Kendall, Rachel, Emily, Zoe and Tally in year 11 and 12 reached the national final of the VEX Robotics competition. Mr Cronk took them to the NEC in Birmingham where they and their robot Sparky won the Energy Award sponsored by the National Grid for their commitment, attitude and impact on other teams. 
Year 8 have had a particularly successful year, with two teams from Colleton competing at a national level in STEM competitions. Morris, Mattel, Grace and Abhijit competed in the final of the Ultimate STEM Challenge in the IMAX cinema at the Science Museum in London. And Miss Carter took Grace and Julia in Year 8 to the Birmingham Think Tank Museum, where they came second in the country in the Aluminium Challenge. Dr Davies also took Annabelle, Rebecca, Grace and Sasha in Year 8 to Bath University, where they won the Salters Chemistry Challenge. A special mention has to be made for Ollie P in Year 9 for a competition that he had been working on in Computing Club this year with Mr Cronk. The competition was the International Microsoft Imagine Cup Earth and Ollie's project used data from NASA to model the behaviour of algae. Ollie came second in the world in the intermediate bracket of this competition. To read all of this year's CG Science and Inside Psychology editions, as well as to find out more about all of the STEM activities that have happened this year, please visit the STEM webpage, which can be accessed from the homepage of the school's website.